What's up everyone? That was messed up. Welcome back to the Cone 81 channel where we are continuing our Grunt Apocalypse run with Gruntfall. Uh, I'm not gonna try to do any of the last little glitches. I will try to do this level purely the way it was intended to. As always, mod details down in the description. And um, yeah, let's see what kind of journey we go on. All right, first of all, we need to see how we sprint with the sniper rifle. That is fantastic. My next thing is, I don't think we've seen an assassination animation yet. So I'm really curious if there is one and what it looks like. Uh, it looks like there was no animation, which is kind of upsetting. This is also weird for me to see normal grunts because I'm so used to doing this level on the lasso. It's been a while since I've actually played it normally. I was not expecting an ultra to be down here, but I can't, because of the height, I can't get a good sniping spot on him without completely exposing myself and nearly dying. And I, lucky I moved before that nade came in. Look how he's holding the needle rifle, he's holding it with one hand, it's so weird. As much as that's an easy shot on that guy, I'd like to take out the one with the focus rifle first. Another beam rifle. That's the focus rifle. Make our life a little bit easier if we can take him out first. I don't know if there's any more with focus rifles, though. Doesn't fully seem like it. And there's the gold elite down there as well that I'm slightly concerned about. Am I getting pushed? I'm almost dead. Unfortunately, I am not so concerned about the marbles anymore. I might still pick them up here and there just to see if anything cool comes out of them, but... I don't think any of them are really going to be useful to us on Legendary. Easy or normal, they could be fun to play with, but... On Legendary, it's not. This goal really worries me, because if I'm not mistaken, it actually takes... Four shots to the head to actually kill him. And I actually hit it. I'm impressed with myself. My main issue is now, the fact that I died, oh, there he is. I was gonna say, I can't find that guy, but he's there. Can I do it in four again? I can. Again, I'm impressed with myself. I was worried that with a shitty checkpoint, I would fall too far back and then completely waste all my ammo trying to do that again. Well, that's the first area clear. Now we're on to the second. And again, I think a lot of this level is going to be playing it slow and safe and just being smart with how I take on these enemies. See, the issue is I'm actually getting confused on which one are grunts and which ones are elites in the dark. Because they all look so similar now. I think it's a grunt, so I just pop my head out and try to headshot them. And it doesn't work. Why didn't it? That first one missed? Excuse me? So we're coming up to the fun part. There's Guta up ahead. And we get to see what they look like. Why is this grunt stuck? Can I shoot his head through that? No, I can't. But I suck! So, I'm really curious what it's a giant grunt holy crap they kept their size that is beautiful that made my day i've had a really crappy week that has made my day yeah go fight june nope you're gonna come fight me i might be dead Okay, that's one down. And I don't know if I made that grunt noise or if he did. Oh my god, there's another one. And for those of you wondering why I'm not using the night vision mode, because this is what it looks like. <laughs> we could maybe try it for a little bit, but this is just, it makes it extremely hard to see. Yeah, the night vision is honestly a really cool touch. It's just, it is not really that practical 
unfortunately. And apparently my aim is also not practical. So our goal here, or our plan, is going to be the same that it was with the Mythic Overhaul. Where we're kind of just going to skirt the outsides and snipe what we can. And unfortunately, that plan to stay on the outsides is immediately thrown in the garbage. As there's something hiding around here that won't show its face that I need to kill before the level will proceed. I like how they put a nice sniper up there. Like there's an actual rifle for more ammo. It's elevated platform. You think it'd be a great sniper spot. And then they just drop off all the enemies on the complete opposite side of the map. Oh, I might die. So that wasn't the worst clear in the world. It wasn't exactly easy, but it wasn't difficult either. The Phantom was actually the biggest issue for me because I kept forgetting where it spawned in and they kept slaughtering me out in the open. Oh god, how I would love just to use the lasso glitch here and make my life so much easier. What is that elite have on him? Is that a, did he have a marble on him? I don't know, but he had some kind of armor ability on his back. He's dead, so it's not an issue, but... I kind of would like to know what he had. Oh, there's another one of you up here, and you have a- No! No! I'm out of ammo! Don't hide! Don't hide! Stay where you are! No! I blew that! And he's got a plasma launcher, so he kind of needs to die! I realize I only had two rounds in this! Shit! Right now, my big issue is lack of checkpoints and that guy not showing his face. I've got four rounds in this. Don't fall off the map. Thank you. And we got a checkpoint out of that. So that was really appreciative. These ultras take three shots to go down instead of four. But... If my math is right, I should have taken out all the elites by now, and it's just grunts and jackals remaining. I'm really hoping I could stay over here for cover, because there's a health pack over here. And there's sniper. Uh, no? Just assault rifle and DMR. But still, oh shit, there's one right there. I did not see that, and I don't want to waste my health pack that I just picked up. So we're going to take cover and wait for that phantom to leave. I can't remember if this is a wave system and there's more than one waves or if the hunters get dropped off right away. I'm not 100% sure. It looks like the hunters are there already. So we just need to slowly clear this out. Why are they spurting blue blood? It should be orange. That's odd. Yeah, all the blood is blue. Maybe because they're technically grunts instead of hunters, which is a very high possibility. I have another issue of an elite over there. But he's just protected by that wall because of the height difference. And it I can't get a shot on him. June might have actually killed him. Or nope, that's him there. I thought he was laying there dead. But then I saw the I realized with the Is that rock have no physics? It's got no physics. I realized once the shield was still bubbling on that elite that he was still alive. I believe all that's left is this hunter. And the issue is that I am out of sniper ammo. And the hunter is doing that. I'm really hoping... June... Can do something here. That was a bad nade. Because I forgot nades are really hard in this game. But if you just want to... Stand there and let me shoot you in the back a hundred times. I... Am perfectly... Fine with that. Until he turns and decides to shoot me. Use the rocket's cover. 
Oh, there's an uh, invisible elite as well. So I was wrong about the hunter being the only thing alive. Except for now the elite is dead. I have no ammo and no health. Crap. Well, luckily that was just enough ammo to finish off that hunter. I'm gonna try to run back for more DMR ammo and then hopefully find a health pack somewhere. You know, I think there is a health pack on the other side of the gate as soon as it opens. All I want is to get to the sniper ammo that is right there because that. That is a major issue. I don't know what's in there. If it's a grunt, it was a grunt. Thank God. Because if that was an elite, it would make life a lot harder. And we used all the sniper ammo. So what we got is what we got at this point. Nice shot, June. I refuse to use a sniper rifle on grunts on the turret at this point. I will purposely save that for elites now. So we've only got the 24 rounds remaining. The turrets are actually pretty great to have up. Because they make for easy targets. Especially if an elite decides to get them. Or they completely ruin your day if you miss shots like that. This turret has me so pinned down. I can't get a shot on the ground. There we go. Thank you. But now there's an elite down on the ground that is going to kill me. Oh, there's two elites. I got one. Number two seems to be stuck and not noticing me. Someone else is in the turret. I didn't see that. All right, there's someone with a focus rifle. I don't know if it's a jackal or an elite, but it needs to go down. That would be an elite with a focus rifle, which decided to push extremely hard. I'm so lucky that shot hit. That was 100% not skill and all luck there. Can I climb this rock for a better sniping position? I sort of can. So, whoa! Is there another one? I was about to say before I was very rudely interrupted. There's another one. He's dead. That is that there's a few bodies up here, and I believe there's a health pack? I don't know if there's sniper ammo. No, there's a health pack, which I'd like to stay near in case I need it, but no more sniper. So we've only got 12 rounds left. Which we need to save for these ultras and other elites, because I'm pretty sure there's quite a few more elites up ahead. Or... No, I was about to say, I thought I was completely wrong that there was no more enemies, but that um, Elite decided to show his face. And who is now dead. I don't think there's anything left at this point, except for that Jackal, which... Oh, there's a Grunt over there as well. I don't remember the spawn rates on this, because Mythic Overhaul completely changed what enemies are here and added a bunch. And every time I do lasso, I just despawn these enemies, so... Trying to remember what actually goes on over here is very confusing. But actually, I think that's the end of the level. And with Grunt Fall complete, we get to play Tip of the Grunt on Thursday. Make sure you guys tune in for that if you are interested. Like, subscribe if you are new. And see you on Thursday.